All right, guys. Hi, how are you? Last one for the night. Um, so I know I look like garbage. I swear, I one day will look like a decent human being. I just, it's never <laughs> being a decent human being with makeup and nice hair is not convenient for me. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to jump right in because I think we got, I don't really know how long it's going to be. Jack, do not tear up my carpet. Does anybody else's little critters do this? He likes to just have at it with the carpet. Hey! Sometimes I think he's just smelling it and then sometimes I think he's chewing it. Stop it. Okay. So let's get into it. So this is going to be a um, uh, empties haul. Empties haul. That's what we're going for. So yeah, I just got a giant bag of garbage <laughs> that I've been hoarding. And so I've gotten a bunch of stuff and really most of it's like the same thing. And it's kind of some, some of it I think is a little silly, but you know, you got to start somewhere. You know, you can't have it. I guess maybe I should just set it all out on the counter and then I could have, um, uh, Throwing it back in the bag. But you know. Okay. Let's just. Okay, so I guess we'll just start with the pulled out. So, this is the Zoe Alla brush cleaning system. I had got this in a Fat Fit Fun um, edit sale. Um, it's like supposed to be like $100, and I got it for like $27, $29. Um, okay, for that. I don't know. I didn't particularly care for it. It does good with powder brushes, I guess. Cream brushes, are, it's not going to clean if you want my opinion. Um, so, but I do sort of use this um, in my brush cleaning routine. Um, but it's not like a single old use thing. And I wouldn't pay $100 for it because it's not going to clean. Really. Um, and I'll show you. I kind of, I'm probably, I'm got a video where I was testing this out that I really need to work on. And so I'm going to go in and kind of, because I need to kind of redo it because it got too long and this wasn't working and um need to go in how I kind of do it. But I'll kind of go in a brief explanation. I use it more of like a rinsing type deal. But I, I do kind of use this in my deep routine. But I had bought this and I also bought the Zoe Alla, which it's an empty package now, but um, it's like a little rubber mat with different um, patterns on it to clean your brushes. So I kind of use I use a combination of the both, which I will go into in detail in another video um, about how I do it. But I do use a combination of both. This I really like, and I would recommend this. And it's only like okay, I paid like seven or nine bucks for it, but I think it's only like twenty. But this I would recommend. I actually bought my mom one of these for her brushes. This I. Like, you can use this and let set your brushes out overnight, and then they'll dry and you'll be fine. Now, like I said, I do use this in combination since I've already got it, and I'll set, but I have trouble with it because it's just, I just don't particularly care for it. But I'll spin them and, or they'll get most of the water out and dry, and, but I'll still leave them overnight. So, I mean, it, I use it because I've got it. Do I care for it? Recommend it? No, this, I think I should get. Moving on. I've got several of the dig in here okay so i had gotten this naked urban urban decay naked skin highlighting fluid like sample thing and i use like as you can see a couple of them and then i just i just quit using it i just i just don't care for it it's not for me but i just it's so it's so sad i don't like cream products i don't like cream contour i just prefer powder but then i have dry skin so like it's so frustrating but what I really just do is really go in with a really hydrating foundation and that's real dewy. Stop it. And, you know, then go with my powders and just, just go with it. But I just, I just don't care for these. That's just a personal thing. And also they weren't very vibrant to me. I don't like, like, green stripes or anything or rainbow. But I want, so I want it, like, more natural colors. Like, you know, like the gold or the rose gold or something pink. Or, um, regular, I don't know, it, but just not, but I want it blinding. I want the, like, the people on the moon to see my highlighter, because that's important. So this just, I just didn't care for, but that's just a personal preference. Um, so I got this in a FabFitFun box. Uh, I want to say the, pin, I don't know, maybe the Pinterest box, I'm not sure. And it is, uh... R and Co Acid Wash, so it's a cleansing rinse for your hair, and it's made with um, 
I want to say apple cider vinegar. It was some kind of vinegar. I want to say apple cider. But um, I used it and it does really like strip your hair, you know, all that dry shampoo and sh hairspray and all that gunk. And so I would do this. I would use my regular shampoo and then go in with my conditioner um, to help bring some hydration back into my hair. And um, I did really, really enjoy it. I do not know how much it is. It came in my box, and but I did enjoy it. So if you see that and you want to try it, go right ahead. Okay, so, oh, this is my little twisty things I got at Ulta. So they're bobby pins. I had some of these when I was a kid, and these are in my Ulta haul, and I loved them, and I lost them somewhere along the way, and I found them at Walmart. They're twi I'm wearing them right now. They're twisty bobby pins that you twist in your bun, and I'm wearing them today, and it does not fall out, and that'll, st I will sleep like this, and I'll get up, and obviously I'll have some, I've, I've got baby hairs everywhere, and they'll fall out, but like, no, this will still be there, I love them, so, we have the, they're just bad, Kapari, um, coconut multitasking kit, so I got this in a five fit fun box as well, and I started using it, and I really liked it, and I actually liked what it was doing to my face, my face felt really nice and hydrated, and so it comes with the coconut melt. Let me show you. I was just digging in there. Like, it's it's shorter, but also I've got that little chunk in there because you kind of got to break it up with your fingers. So there's the melt. I would put this, like, on my, um, really my body, but especially my shoulders because I'll get dry patches. So I... Whoops, oops, oops. Um, so I've, it's got the coconut sheer oil. I would use this and I would uh, drip it on my face and put it on my face. And I love the way this made my skin feel. We'll get to all that in a second. So we've got coconut oil uh, balm. Which I probably, I don't think I ever use that one. But I'd probably put it on my patches like traveling or something. And then the body glow, which I would put on my legs. And then make you a little glow. Okay. So here's what happened with this. So it's um because you know you can put coconut oil and use it for all kind of things and it's supposed to, and it's good for you. Um, body moisturizer, hair mask, shave oil, makeup remover, face oil, face makeup primer, flyaway uh, tamer, body shimmer, face face highlighter, cruelty free, non GMO, silicone free, twelve month uh, shelf life, um, and all that stuff. My problem with this was okay. So I used it and I really liked it. But then remember when my face all swelled up? I'm pretty sure it was this right here. Because once I started kind of going back into my routine, this seemed to be the problem. And I thought it was coconut, but like I said, and then I had tried the other foundation that was coconut. Like I had gotten a new, I quit using everything. And then I got a found, the born, born this, born this way? I don't remember. I got the, <sighs> that foundation that was made with coconut water or oil it's supposed to be good hydration and my face freaked out so I thought it was the coconut and this seemed to be the culprit um however I've since used max fix plus and my face swell up like a balloon so it must be something else in these products but something is not agreeing with my face maybe it's just different things in different products because it could be the coconut in this and it could be because I've even got a palette that's got some it's supposed to have some coconut stuff in it. Coffee extract, like coconut extract. I don't know, but this doesn't seem to bother me. But this does, and then that foundation did, and then I, for some reason, which Max Plix Plus does. And then I've got a primer in here that was recommended to me, and I told him I said I can't have any um, coconuts. Like, it's freaking out my face. Like, I can't have anything like that. And so she guaranteed me didn't have it. Then come to find out, it says it on the box it does. But I've been using it and my face is fine. So I, I don't know what's going on. But this seemed to be the culprit for my face. And so that's why it is being thrown in the trash. Um, but it was, I was so sad because I really liked how my face felt so good when I used that coconut oil. Because I've been so dry. I'm all I'm that dry person. Like I'm not dry like flaky flaky. But sometimes I get flaky in certain areas and the rest of my face is just dry. Um, and I really liked how that oil, like, my face felt so good, and I feel like my face is still in good shape, 
compared to like where it's been. <laughs> you know, I don't know if that makes any sense. Really, Jet? That scared me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, anyway, I need to move along. It's telling me I need to move along 10 minutes. Anyway, this just didn't work for me, and I'm really upset because the oil seemed to be doing really nice. I don't know why. I said I had a heart attack, but that's just what happened. And I had to just, it's like a bad boyfriend. You just got to cut it out. Oh, goodness. Okay. So we have Beauty Blender Box, which I'm sure everyone's like, duh. <laughs> but I've never had a Beauty Blender before. I got it in a Fab Fit Fun box, and I've been using it. I don't know. I'm not, as you can see, it's real. And I've done cleaned it two or three times since I've had it. Um, I prefer brushes. I really don't like using the sponge, but I've got some new foundations and stuff that I'm using, and it looks better with the sponge than a brush. And some foundations work fine with the brush, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just, I, I don't know. I really prefer a brush. I don't like, I'm, I'm not a bouncer. That's just not me. But then I have to use it sometimes, and so I use it, but on certain foundations. But I just, I just like brushes. I, I'm not a bouncer, but I, but I use it. So anyway, but, um, so it's a good product if you like you know, or even if you've got like one like me, just, just, you know, for, for certain things, you know, I, I do think it, it works and stuff. I just really like brushes. Oh my goodness. So I got, I don't know what haul this was, but I got the little travel size setting spray and I fell in love with it. I've got my big bottle and I'm about out of my big bottle and it's time for a new one. <laughs> love this. I actually want to try though, like, I know like Elf and Wet and Wild have like some like you know cheaper versions of this, and I want to try them see if they work because like forty dollars, you know, not really forty, but it's like thirty two or something. But anyway, but it's I can't be doing that all the time because I use that every single day. Okay, we're just going to town. Okay, I'm trying to get everything all so make sure. So this is the. Foreo Luna Fofo, and so I got this in a, I feel like, actually my first Fat Fit Fun box. I still use it. I love it. I swear by it. I got another one. I think it was the Summer Editor bo Editor's box, and I ended up giving it to my mom, and she's, and she tried it, and she's like, okay, you know, whatever, you know, and she's like, she texted me like a couple days later. She's like, well, I kind of like that thing. <laughs> like, I don't know. It does really good with my face. My face is in great shape. It's so soft. I'm not going to touch my face right now because I've been touching all over that little stuff, but I do really like this. Of course, I don't know. We got these because we were the first people to get them. The Fab Fit Fun people. And they were supposed to be released in stores. And I've never seen this one in the stores because this is the one that's connected by Bluetooth and you got the app and the whole nine yards. <clears throat> but they've got the other ones, but I still haven't seen this one. Or maybe I'm just missing something. I don't know. But, um, but I do like... It. And the other ones are the same texture. They just don't have the Bluetooth. And I've gotten to work. So they up I did the app for a little while. Well, then they updated it. And I don't like the newer version. It's not as user friendly. And I just I just turn it on and go with it. You know, so you just get you the, the regular ones that, you know, do the same little motion. And it's the same, like, it's the same silicone vibration. And like, I'll, you know, just, but I do really like this. Even though it's really expensive, because I'd probably, <laughs> of course, the other ones are, I don't know. I don't know if I would actually go out and buy one, but I really like it. I don't know. I may go buy a cheaper one when that one just really craps out on me. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize so much stuff was in here. Okay. So, this is, I got a package of the black eye mask, a uh, little eye. And so, I've used, I think, just one. I want to see if I I do, I see. So I just used one of them, but it it worked nice. I liked it. A nice experience. So I got it in, them in a Fab Fit Fun box as well. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get it together soon, y'all. And then this is all the same. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay. We're all out of there now. So, this, so I 
started using the Garnier Micellar Water, and I love it. Um, and actually, I would have an empty bottle, but it's like this much left. <laughs> but I've just got a new bottle. But this came with it as a little freebie sample. It's the, it's I guess a new, yeah, new product, a micellar foaming gel cleanser, which I was very excited for. And we went out of town, and I took it with me because it removes makeup, it cleanses and refreshes. So it's removing my makeup like the micellar water, but it's cleaning my face too. Like so, it's just two products in one, and it was a little sample size. So like great, great for travel. I didn't like it at all. <laughs> and it's like, it's literally jelly. It's like a clear jelly. It's a bubble. It's a clear jelly. It smells really bad. And it didn't, my face didn't, like, my face didn't have a freak out reaction, but I didn't like it. I, I don't care for it. Because, like, this is a whole whole thing but I I didn't like it. I'm just gonna show you all these in here <laughs> so I can just start throwing this stuff away. So I started I got a free sample for years ago of the whole Garnier Whole Blend um sh shampoo and conditioner. So and then it's turned into this problem. <laughs> like this is just shampoo. I go this is all that I use. I've used it ever since is, and I've talked about it before. So, would you please move along? So this is the Garnier Repa Whole Blends Repairing Shampoo, a Honey Treasures Royal Jelly Honey and Propolis Extracts, which strengthens and heals damaged hair. So this is the shampoo. I literally have three of these. And then we got three conditioners. <laughs> Here's the conditioners. So you can see what they look like. Um, let's see if any information or anything. And then so they also have the matching um, repairing mask, hair mask, uh, conditioning mask, which I do use as well. And uh, so that's what this looks like. That'll all be sitting together. I do recommend all three. As you can see, we're just, <laughs> I have a problem. Say I don't wash my hair. All right. All this is literally going to the trash can as soon as I get done with this. Okay. So, so I've talked about in my hydration video because I'm a dry girl. I love. I thought I heard something. The uh, Olay Active Hydrating Hydration Active original cream they do have a bottle version of this the bottle version I don't know why it's not the same just get the jar it's at Walmart it's like four or five six bucks get it get it get it just get it I've been using this since I was a teenager and my mom introduced me to it and she's been using it since she was a teenager this is awesome we have random Avon eyeliners that were given to me that I do not use and they just I don't know. I just don't use them. Most of them are pretty random colors, really. What is he doing? Okay. Moving along. Bath and Body Germex all day long. Pink Chiffon. Ooh, one of my favorites. Oh, and this is the Magic in the Air. Another one of my top, top favorites. This is the Make Me Makeover Essentials Mineral Face Primer. I had gotten this, and I used about half of it. But it just felt like, like a little really thick silicone jelly something on my abdomen. I didn't feel like it was doing much. I just didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't know about that. I was like, nah. We'll just, we'll just call it a day. This is a random foundation I picked up because I needed foundation on the fly, like five years ago, and I was like, uh, let's just get rid of that. A CoverGirl Clean Matte Foundation. It's actually even a matte and old. See, I don't even know what I was doing back then. I just had to pick something up, and I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know. I just grabbed something, but Lord knows how old it is. It just has a strong odor. I think it's time for it to go. I got a sample a long time of the Estee Lauder double Estee Lauder double wear, and I used most of it. But this is probably old by now, and it seemed to do all right. Um, it's been a while though, but um, I didn't dislike it because I used quite a bit of the sample. So I have trouble with dry shampoos. 
um, I used to love the Tresemme one. Then they changed the formula to a clear formula, and it just didn't work. But I have to be careful, you know, with the dark hair. Um, but everyone talks about the ball tea, so I got it to try, and I used it all. I didn't care for it particularly, or at least this one. I just... I really like the old Tresemme that, like, kept my hair sticky, kept it all. I don't know. This just didn't work. But I wanted to try the Baltiste Plus um, with dark color. This I love. I've used, actually, I don't know why I don't have more of these. I guess I just started throwing them away. But I have went through this ever since. Like, I've probably went through three or four bottles. And actually, they apparently they came out with an extra large size because I bought that just a couple weeks ago. This I like. The Baltiste Plus for dark divine hair and then they also have a blonde one too go pick that up okay i've used this random body lotion kind of smells like my shampoo and conditioner but i really liked it honey and lavender i've used this random body wash that i like too i as you can see i got on a milk and honey kick and i, I really enjoy it this is a blue and capri shower gel um, that I got in a FabFitFun box. I just used it all up and I, I mean it was a shower gel. I didn't notice anything miraculous but it got me clean. That's what the job matters. I got the, so I got both of these this um, in FabFitFun boxes. They are both the sponge gel um, body wash infused buffers. This one is in Papaya Yuzu and Fresia P pear? P oh, pear. Ha, ha, ha. And, yeah, I used both of these, and I enjoyed them. It was a nice little experience, and, yeah. Cool. I got these in Fat Fit Fun Boxes. This, I didn't realize this video was going to be so long. I was going to be, like, having to, okay. So, these are the Glam Glow Bubble Sheet Mask. Ah! And, as you can see, because I got two in a Fat Fit Fun Box, and then I got two more, and I've used one more. And I really enjoyed it. And I will say, so the first one I really, I really had a good experience. The second one I started, my face started reacting weird. But, you know, I have dry skin and it's a little sensitive. You know, so it made my face freak out a little bit. And then the third one I had used really freaked my face out. Um, so I don't know. Maybe it's, of course, Glow Glow, I guess, is really intense cleansing thing I don't know I've just got sensitive skin it's nothing against glam glow but my I'm just got really figured out I've got sensitive skin but I did really enjoy it I don't know I guess it's like that because I used the coconut before like you know for a little while and it was fine and then it freaked out so maybe it just you know I don't know but I think you should give these a try do should I use them all the time absolutely not but that's just me <laughs> And yeah, that's everything. I'm going to get off here because I'm going way too long. I was trying to save up a bunch of stuff because I was like, oh, I'm not going to have enough. I'm gonna, it's going to be like five minutes. No, that took forever. All right. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Comment if you want to see anything like this video. If you like, um, you know, seeing like, you know, after I've used all the products, like what is my final thoughts? Would I use it again or whatever? Um, subscribe if you want to see more from me. Have any questions, let me know. And I will see you next time. Bye. Come on, computer. Bye.